Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm excited to show you how to use Moonbeam Safe. Moonbeam Safe is a friendly fork of Safe, formerly known as Gnosis Safe. Moonbeam Safe allows you to set up on-chain multi-signature setups to help you manage the funds of your organization, your DAO, or perhaps simply your personal funds. It's easy to get started with Moonbeam Safe, so let's head to multisig.moonbeam.network. So we're gonna get started by connecting our wallet. I'm gonna choose MetaMask here. And let's go ahead and create our safe. Uh, I can call it uh, one of these names already here, my Moonbeam safe, that's just fine. You'll choose the network here that you want to create it on. So we'll choose Moonbase in this case. And here we are going to choose our signers. This is a multi-sig of course. And so we're gonna demonstrate it with a couple different signers. So I'm gonna add Bob as a signer as well and I just need to get Bob's address here. You'll see here, you can add more signers. You can have uh, several more than just two. We also have the threshold here. Uh, so any transaction that you'd like the safe to initiate, that is anything that impacts the safe. So that could be transferring funds out of the safe. That could be changing the signature policy of the safe. Um, it could be interacting with a smart contract. Anything that you want the safe to do, you're going to need to achieve this threshold. So you can make it two of two in this case, or one of two. Note that you can add or remove signers at any time, and everybody has flat uh, permissions. So there's no super admin or super user or anything like that. Anybody who's part of the safe has the exact same permissions uh, as anybody else who's part of the safe. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and continue to create my safe. So let's go ahead and create it. I'll confirm the transaction in my MetaMask. Cool, and our safe is all ready to go. Now, one quick thing to note is you saw that waiting screen. Uh, just give it a second because after the transaction confirms, there's a little bit of indexing that may need to be done by Moonbeam Safe just to make sure that it pulls up all your details. So uh, just be patient and it'll be ready to go. Now, let's demonstrate first receiving some funds. We wanna kind of seed the safe uh, with some funds that it can use. Something that's critical to understand is that Moonbeam safes are unique to each network. You can't create a safe on Moonbase Alpha and then assume that the same safe will also work on Moonbeam. You will lose all of your funds if you try this. That's why every single address that you see in Moonbeam safe is prepended uh, with a particular network identifier. So MBase stands for Moonbase Alpha. You'll see MBeam for Moonbeam. And just note that if you'd like to have a safe on multiple networks, perhaps you'd like to have a test one and a one on mainnet, you do need to create those individually and they will be different addresses. So make sure that you are not sending funds to the wrong address. In this case, I just want to seed my uh, safe with some funds. So I'm gonna copy the contract address here and I'm going to send, uh, let's say to dev to the account. So let's go ahead and demonstrate sending some funds from the safe. I will go ahead and say new transaction. And let's say we wanna send some of our dev tokens and I'm just gonna send it back to my account here. And let's send one dev token. We'll go ahead and press next. And this is where we can kind of review the details of the transaction uh, with regard to execution of it. Now, because this particular Moonbeam safe only requires one signer to sign off on the transaction. I can execute it either right now or I can choose to execute it later. Or alternatively, uh, perhaps we have like a three of five multi-sig and maybe two people have already signed off. In that case, if I'm the last signer, then I'll see this execute message um, as well. So here I'd like to execute it. Let's go ahead and press execute. And I'm gonna confirm this transaction here in my wallet and our transaction was executed. So I'll click finish here. And our safe is back to a balance of one dev. Now I'd like to demonstrate interacting with a contract as well. So in order to do that, you can head to home and you can head over to transaction builder. So in this case, we are just interacting with a simple contract uh, that's an incrementer contract. And if the contract is verified, then it will pull the ABI automatically. If it isn't verified, you can go ahead and paste in the ABI yourself. 
And the method that we'd like to call is just called increment. So let's do that. I pressed add transaction. And if there were multiple contract interactions, you can add additional ones. In this case, we just have one. So let's go ahead and create batch. And I'll press send batch. And we're presented with a familiar screen, which was very similar to the one where we were just sending uh, dev tokens. So it looks very similar to that. We'll go ahead and press execute. And I'll confirm the transaction in my wallet. And our transaction was successful. If I click on view transaction, we can see the details. And you can also click on view on the blockchain explorer here. So I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to Moonbeam Safe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.